Let's see. Right, so here's Lou Martin, uh, channel and student of consciousness. And here's uh, me with my lovely uh, friend, Amy. Also and, student of consciousness. Yes, and Amy's gonna rock and roll us here with more info about uh, living in Glastonbury and getting her chakras blasted open today and uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the Mayan uh, wave spell. Okay, Take thanks Lee. Take it away, sister. Yeah, today's spectral Skywalker, which is, uh, in Mayan terms, it's Ben, the, the energy Ben. And Ben is all about bringing the vibration of heaven to earth. And it's through the spine. So it's through the energy centers in the center of the spine. There's five energy centers which run down. And in yogic terms, it's called um, the Shushumna Nadi. Right. And this energy center becomes awakened on these days. So today, especially, is about the spine. Great. And it's about bringing this energy through your body, the vibration of heaven, down through your physical body so that we can awaken the earth plane, take it to a new vibration. And your physical body is a channel. Everybody is a channel of energy. So we can all do this on these days. And we'll probably find the... the the inclination is to sit with your spine erect and walk very erect throughout the day to allow this energy through. But um, Lou, you are magnetic, Ben, which Am is, I? that's your, that, yeah, that's your kin. Okay. You're number one, Ben. Okay. Number one, Ben. So you're doing this all the time. And Ben is also the messenger. So today is also about bringing messages through. Yes and um becoming the angelic messenger and the there's an affirmation which is it says once you're a struck bell once your bell has been struck there is no going back which is about today so that's another energy of today right right and we're in the we're in the night wave spell at the moment the period of 13 days called a wave spell yeah. started 11 days ago so we're on day 11 of the night wave spell and night is all about abundance so we're probably finding an abundance of things happening in a daily basis activities adventures experiences abundance of food abundance of friends abundance of of spirit bringing you messages and dreams it's also about dreams Right. It's about um, the, the night seer. It's about seeing in the dark, not only the dark on the outside, but also the inner darkness, yeah. the stillness that is the dancing. So um, going inwards and finding that dark, still place within, which is the vortex of all, all creation within you. Brilliant. And allowing, allowing yourself to be invigorated by the by the truth that you hold within you and in the darkness you see the light right right and the, when it comes to dreams as well i had a very interesting experience yeah so i was waking up i was having this dream about a man who had a rat in his pocket this is oh, my, dreams. my angel card for today excellent it's all yeah. about dreams lou yeah. and, to, and because we're in the 11th day we're also manifesting what we set our intentions to do on the fourth day of this wave spell so okay. we're so today tomorrow and the next day so today and, and sunday and monday Great. is all about reaping the rewards of what we set our ah, intention for that's perfect i just put out this for this new class for the next three weeks so excellent yeah. oh wow that's yeah. see that's what you set your intentions for yeah. this with this wave spell yeah. and because it's all about dreams i i let me tell you this i dreamt that there was a man with a rat in his pocket and the rat fell down a cliff and broke and died and in my dream i was shocked and i thought oh no there is the rat right so the rat hit, the rat woke up again and climbed all the way up the mountain and i was happy because the rat was still alive and last night this okay. this happened in the night when i when i left the house this morning there was a dead rat outside the house right yeah, so obviously somebody ran over the rat in the night. Yes, but... And the know. rat got into my dream. <laughs> well, or you are seeing the future through your dream, my dear, you know. Something it's, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, brilliant. Um, yeah, no, it's great. It's great. Um, as I was saying, Amy, uh, you know, so um, today is the uh, 2nd of December. And uh, yeah. you're, you're giving us the, um, uh, the Mayan uh, interpretation. And um, uh, tell tell people a little bit about uh, your experience of, of living in Glastonbury, and if you'd like to, what happened to you uh, today with the energy and any of that? Well, Glastonbury, although um, 
although I haven't lived here very long, I did live here again in in 2000, oh, well, 11 years ago I lived here before, so yeah. whenever it was. Um, the energies of Glastonbury are so high that meditation is right. an extremely cosmic experience and spirit is very palpable in the air and because of the the two springs, there's two very powerful springs here. Um, one red with iron, which is the dragon spring, and one white, which is the female spring. So one masculine and one, one feminine. Right. And these power centers, these hills around here, which um, one of them's got the tour on, which is very famous. Yes. And I, and posted, it's I posted that picture of the of the girl climbing the the hill by the tour. Yeah, you did. Right. That's, <laughs> that's, that's great. That's my hill. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, yes. you're gonna get there. Good, great, great. That was There's actually, also, sorry, uh, let me just tell you, that was a still, uh, a publicity still from a very good documentary. Um, what was it called? Uh, just look over here. Uh, it's something like Mind Mind the Gap or something like that. Uh, but it, it was about mm. consciousness and awakening. It's quite good. Cool. Yes. Sorry. There's also this abbey, which is... Um, now relics but um it's a very large piece of grounds within the town center the town is built around the abbey and the abbey was uh, obviously a huge huge center once upon a time um in the 11th and 12th centuries when it was built on a site where there was a, a christian wooden building um which was built by druids a long long time ago to represent their 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 devotion to christ right. and um the, re the relics themselves, as you walk around them, you can feel the singing that took place inside this abbey. You can feel the power and the devotion of the nuns and the monks that, that work there. Yes. And um, there's a lovely, tiny little museum dedicated to the things, the artifacts that they found in the abbey, um, including, they say, they found the bones of King Arthur, yes. um, who was a very, very well-loved king. And... Um, people mourned his death for decades after he died, um, maybe even centuries, I'm not sure, but he's, he was well loved. And sure. yeah. the, the Arthurian energies and legends that surround this land have penetrated the minds of all the people here because there's stories about oh, everything you go. I mean, Glastonbury is a hot spot. It's like right. Sedona of, of Europe. Um, right. Right. It is, it is a... It is a very high energy center. There's a lot of, um, I mean, everything is an alternative here. There's, there's just no mainstream stuff going on, really. Right, um, right, right. It runs alongside the mainstream life, obviously, that, that carries on. Sure. But, but the... Um, well, sorry, Amy, let, let me ask you, hon. Uh, so Glastonbury is a village, a town, a city itself? It's a town. Yes. It's a town of about 8,000 people. There we go. Okay. Um, and it's on this energy line of the Mary Michael line, right? Um, which runs all the way from Land's End, all the way up through Britain and ends up in Germany somewhere. Yes. And along this line are churches devoted to Mary and Michael, which is why it's known as the Mary Michael line. There's two lines that run interlocking each other. Um, and it's not a ley line, but it's an energy line of some sort because of all these um, points that have been made up upon it mary and michael um so glastonbury is 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 an energy center itself because lots and lots of ley lines run through it and there's also a very interesting um phenomenon on the land itself there is a zodiac within the um architecture of the landscape there people have pointed out throughout the years that different fields and different parts of the land represent the different 12 different archetypes of the zodiac yeah. so um there's a circle of glyphs carved not carved into the land but made out of the shapes of the fields and right. it's absolutely absolutely stunning really really interesting um the way everything is reflected in a divine way through creation here you can feel you, as you go up the tour the tour is like an initiation you you're not the same person that you were when you come back down again after having been up at all. Um, it really right. is a life-changing experience and very, very spiritual. Right. So 
things things do happen people see spirit hear spirit get in touch with spirit have their lives touched by the water they they become awakened they become they come become open to the divine aspects when they come to glastonbury and become there it's the start of many people's um spiritual journeys they become drawn here because they hear about it but once they've experienced it they're open to spirit and and the divine in a way which sends each person on his new journey and i've met people here who've just come and fallen in love and just met each other i met a couple um in a bookshop a young couple who had never met before but they just fell in love in glastonbury and that was just oh such a beautiful thing to see them being all snuggly in the bookshop and they'd only just met <laughs> i was like oh that's so beautiful that's fantastic <laughs> yeah fantastic um yeah um so can you talk about your experience of of having moved there now in the well and your your experience today with your spine you want to talk about that yeah okay this it's so yummy yeah this this is from the chalice well gardens yes and um drinking the water is to me it's like drinking a pure miracle the water comes out of the ground at exactly the same temperature every day which means it comes from one source and it's a constant flow as well it's never stopped and yeah. um and to do to be able to drink water freely from the earth and have it so invigoratingly um energizing you and um i found it actually speaks to me as well um, yes. spirit spirit comes through so clearly when i drink the water yeah and t- today's experience with uh with my spine waking up and um, this energy just came straight down through me right. and then I kind of stood up and as i registered the fact that my spine had woken up the energy shot straight up from the earth all the way through me and um i think that's because it's a spectral skywalker today but at the moment we're moving into crystal wizard right so this is the energy of tomorrow is crystal wizard right so we're in the wave spell we're crystallizing all the efforts that we've put in in the night wave spell so everything's coming together and forming an actual prototype of like a functional blueprint of of your success so um so you're materializing and crystallizing everything that your intentions were set for and um wizard is all about timelessness okay okay yeah just having a swig of well water yes yes swig away my friend i'm actually it's i'm beautiful uh, yes um i'm chatting with the artist here apologies uh charles wildbank do you know charles you're you're such a gifted artist yourself do you know no this? do you tell me well I'll, I'll i'll have to connect the two of you this is another synchronicity here um He's, uh, I met him on my travels in the States. Uh, I think I met him in the Midwest somewhere. He's, uh, he's a beautiful painter. Uh, and uh, he, he's uh, really a bright light. He's done a lot of spiritual work. And uh, he, he happens to be deaf. And um, he was just sharing with me uh, while I was, you know, giving you my, my divided attention. Apologies. He's uh, just sharing with me here uh, um, that uh, he got a cochlear imp- implant, do you know? Uh, oh my goodness yes uh, so I thought well sure problem solved but he says no it's actually quite quite slow and difficult to learn how to uh, to hear and uh, to make sense of sounds and all that even excuse me even with all that but I will I will connect the two of you together because uh, you, you two should know each other just as I was mentioning also earlier uh, Kira but um, uh, carry on about uh, Glastonbury you know I, I, what I want to say, my dear, is uh, that we've known each other for a few years now, and uh, yeah. since you've moved there, you know, you really have uh, come into your your power in a whole new way. It's been wonderful to see that. Thanks. I'm feeling I'm feeling able to support my full expression here because because Glastonbury supports the everything that's out of the ordinary. Right. I don't feel like I'm having to fit into an ordinary town situation where everybody's got blinkers on and right. if you if you stick out like a sore thumb then you get really weird looks you know it's not like that everybody's got their own expression here and their own way of dealing with things in a in in a creative way and um I, it's just i really feel like i've come home it's amazing i i i i'm so delighted i'm so delighted that's uh that's wonderful thanks you're welcome 
Yep, it's uh, it's a hot spot, definitely. Well, yeah, it's blazing hot. Um, and, um, you, you know, I was mentioning to you this, uh, this channel um, that I was speaking with as well, Kira, uh, this afternoon, uh, who, um, who has channeled this uh, book, Book of Life. And um, so, you know, it's like a, a day for the mystics here between you, me, Charles Wildbank, uh, Kira, you know. Oh, yeah, and I met Lisa. I met Lisa Vunk. Right, right. She calls herself a rainbow warrior goddess. That'll cover it. That'll, yeah. That sums it up nicely. Yeah, she's working <laughs> with, um, she does a radio station, well, she was working for a radio station, like one of these conscious radio programs. Right. Um, working with people like George Kavasalas and, okay. um, have you heard of him? I've, and, heard uh, name. I've heard the name, yeah. Yeah, she was throwing names around here and there, saying that all these people have been on a radio show, and I thought, oh, well, that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that was a really, really connecting day today. It was very um, bringing together people. And, um, yes. and because of the spectral energy as well, spectral energy is about dissolving. And, okay. Um, <clears throat> let me just have another look at my book here. I've got some sure. deeper explanations. Sure, sure. I'm, uh, yeah, you know. but, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ben, the angelic messenger, um, bringing people together. So, so eleven, yeah, eleven is about dissonance. It says, "Strip down to essence, marrow of light. Beyond definition, your soul takes flight." Great, great, yeah. Complexity moving into simplicity. Complexity moving into simplicity. Right, right. Yeah, very good, very good. It's certainly been that today. It's been, um, well, you know, uh, it's, uh, like, uh, you know, as you and I hang out together, Amy, and as we uh, uh, work together, you know, and uh, share these energies together, and you talk about the calendar and uh, your art and uh, your healing work and your your connection to, to ETs and other other consciousness, things like this, you know, uh, and for myself here, as I say, um, two hours uh, talking with Kira, who's a very another very bright light. Uh, yeah, there's. Um, we feel blessed. Yes, I feel blessed to be here. Exactly. Today it dawned on me. It, I took these beautiful photographs of um, Glastonbury Tour right. from Chelliswell, Chelliswell Hill, and it dawned on me that this was my backyard, and I, I thought, how am I going to get over that? I feel so blessed. Well, don't get over it. Enjoy it, you know? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> stay, stay fully overwhelmed. Well, and I also was sharing with you before we got on here that uh, I just watched a 90-minute um, a documentary on uh, Netflix on John Coltrane, who, yeah. was, you know, uh, his, uh, his masterpiece, uh, one of them was called A Love Supreme. And, um, you know, he... Um, uh, you know, his playing and his writing and uh, his energy he, it touched millions of people, uh, especially, honestly, uh, since, he's, since he passed away. He, he died at 40 years of age. Whoa. And, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, people are, are putting him in the same category as, as Beethoven and Bach and Mozart, you know, that he'll, he'll be with us throughout the ages because uh, his, his musical genius uh, was truly timeless. And, um, you know, again, coming back to the energies of today, uh, you know, I started uh, watching this film uh, at, at one vibration, and you know, I'm definitely in a whole higher vibration on the other side of of watching this film. And um, this is one of the things that uh, I was uh, chatting with Kira about. That uh, you know, uh, and and you're 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 being in Glastonbury and all the changes that you you're going through there. Uh, you know, um, uh, we're integrating more and more deeply, aren't we? Uh, th this uh, this um, multi-dimensional uh, worldview, uh, you know, uh, and uh, we're assimilating all these energies uh, every day, you know, uh, and um, there's so much change happening um, below the surface, you know, yeah. for, for, for most people. And um, God, it's great. Excuse me. It's great when you can just be the lovely weirdo. Or I can be the lovely weirdo, you know, and, um, you know, speak my truth and share my experience and same for yourself and and you know Kira, yeah the, the world needs that freedom uh for people to be 
living, you know, uh, slightly outside of the box and, and showing what's what's coming, you know. Yeah, I feel like um, because there's so much availability of information these days that um, that the the truth is now it's been illuminated to the masses about um, about the agendas and the control and people are suddenly starting to feel a lot more mortal and a lot more alive in their physical bodies mm -hmm. and there's more need for people to reach out for a spiritual uh, um something something that's going to trigger their soul right. into, into being more awake because they're realizing that they're in a vessel which is being used and i i think that even though it might not be like seen en masse this way um, it's felt and people are feeling on a people feel before they think they don't actually see, see what they feel but or they can't necessarily think about what they feel but they know they feel that sure 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 um yeah it's amazing that all the different levels of consciousness that we have here as well sure. there's the light workers who are very in divine bringing aspects of the divine down and awakening people that way and then there's people like lisa who i met today who's doing this um nutritional consciousness um being aware of the of the cps and this kind of awareness going on so the ground roots level of of survival instincts that go on for living on this planet um in amongst those people who've got very good agendas um so there's the different levels of consciousness going on and then then of course the star beings and the extraterrestrials <laughs> yeah they've got so much that they want to bring through and people are bringing through so much and there's a lot of light work going on here people doing um yeah. light language and finding this uh pockets of this going on and uh, i find it all very fascinating um yeah, yeah. and of and, and there's e there's even a shop here um in the high street there's lots and lots of shops selling all sorts of magical goodies and um there's one shop which is devoted to hemp and cannabis great and uh you can go in you can go in and try cbd oil and they sell cbd oil and they promote it for use medicinally right. which i think is very good yes um can i tell you so we just, it's we just, on the streets yeah no that's fantastic i mean uh you know, I, I'm seeing this happen in the States, uh, slowly and surely, California and uh, Oregon and Colorado and other places are starting to uh, to open up about, about this. We just had a historic uh, decision from the Irish government. There was this uh, mother of, uh, uh, I guess, about an eight-year-old child, 10-year-old child, uh, Vera Toomey, uh, I think is the mother's name, and uh, she was marching literally all over the country uh, it, you know, in the Irish weather here, the wind and the rain, uh, to um, gain support and attention, which she 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 got a lot of it uh, for her child to be able to have uh, CBD oil here in Ireland, and uh, yeah. yes, and it finally just happened in the last uh, day or two uh, uh, after uh, her daughter had to be in the uh, in Amsterdam, I think, in order to get uh, the CBD treatment uh, to take care of her epilepsy or whatever her condition was she would have like dozens of uh, seizures every day without the without the cbd oil so yeah cracks in the wall you know a little little light shining into the darkness it's uh, good to it's see it's so needed it's it's amazing sure sure absolutely absolutely um do you have a um do you have an event uh, on the horizon uh, about your mayan uh <laughs> Work, just uh, asking in general here because I am going to post this or will you, will you have something after the first of the year you're thinking about it yeah I'm thinking in the new year I'm going to be doing online um, lessons and every wave spell having a recap so going over the wave spell and having group sessions about um, how to work the dream spell so that it works for you as a tool and, right. and then discussions about what happens after every moon how you feel after you know all the different wave spells that go through we've just had three galactic portals in this wave spell yesterday was one wow. and we had a few days before that and, and we've got two coming up in the warrior wave spell we've got two galactic portals um and 
it, yeah, we're going into the last three columns of the Zulkin. While I'm here, Luke, can I, yes. can I pull a card? Yes, of course. Okay, I'm going to pull a card for this next wave spell. Okay, very good. Oh, no, I didn't. I pulled it for today. All this right. is today's energy. Okay. okay. 11, spectral dissonance. Okay. Okay. So that was for today. That's funny. So that got today's energy. What else? What else comes out next? We got seed. This is the year. Right. We're in, we're in yellow crystal seed here. Okay. Very good. Let's have one more. Yeah. Electric rhythm. <laughs> okay. Electric. So the electric tone is all about bonding and activation and service, which is what we're providing here. Yes. Brilliant. Very good. Very is there good. any way of telling how many people are watching? uh no no uh, okay yeah yeah uh honestly the way it works is is um we're recording this and then they'll they'll see it as we post it basically aha uh -huh, okay yes, yes so we're it's you know just us chickens for the moment all right well thanks for watching everybody well yeah what exactly was the, name of that key, the key lady again key uh uh kira uh, kira yes k i hyphen r a Okay. Yeah, and uh, I'm just looking for her here on my little phone. Um, and uh, her, um, yeah, no, she's lovely. And um, uh, she didn't have a, a, a camera. Otherwise, I would have done a, a Zoom with her as well. Um, uh, and I want to connect her to uh, Guillerme. I just see Guillerme here. Uh, and he's doing such great work. Uh, with the language of light, she's another Here one. Here I am, Lester, there she is. Yes, yes. Thank you. Sure, sure. That picture is about 20 years old, but, uh, you know, she's a, <laughs> she's a beautiful lady and a bright light. And uh, honestly, um, you know, I said, uh, she's, she's really from the future. Um, she, she's, she's really integrated into, these, uh, into her higher self. She's been integrated with her higher self her, since she was about five years old, she said. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, you know, uh, she's completely in her heart, totally, uh, you know, sincere and uh, open and uh, just, you know, uh, a real breath of air, you know, a, a real joy. Uh, and uh, she's bringing through these very um, powerful activations uh, with people. And she also has um, many resources that are, are free uh, through Facebook and um, she, she's doing, uh, she has a, a, a monthly meditation on the 11th, uh, speaking of 11, uh, 11th of December is the next one. And, uh, but the, the other thing I want to mention uh, it, tonight is um, we have this uh, super moon tomorrow night. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, do you have any thoughts? It's not the night. It's at, it's at um, 13, 1547. Okay. So it's at 10 to 4 in the afternoon. Right. That's when the actual full moon is. Right. Um, so if you want to do uh, an activation service ceremony, sorry, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, that's the actual full moon. Okay. Okay. We might do I'm that. going to go to the spring and cleanse my crystals in the light. Very good. Very good. Okay. Do you, do you, do you have any other thoughts about the full moon tomorrow in general? It's a super moon and it's in Gemini, isn't it? So uh -huh. I think... Um, it's going to be highlighting the, um, the inner critic in a sense that Gemini is like the madman of the Zodiac. So, um, <laughs> very, very airy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right. Right. Okay. So, so our, our neurosis is going to be highlighted, I think, but it doesn't feel like a very hectic full moon. Thank goodness. It's not like the Scorpio one. Well, there's also the the crazy wisdom, you know. There's the, yeah. the enlightened fool. There's uh, you know uh, the um, the Hayoka, you know, who does everything backwards and upside down and in reverse and uh, tricks you. Yeah, yeah, yeah the trickster. Um, but uh, you know that energy. Uh, plus, we that energy gets you to pay attention. Basically, it wakes you up. It says you're you're asleep here. Um, pay attention. Um, the other thing, of course, is uh, astrologically, um, we're coming into this Mercury retrograde for like the next six weeks. When does that happen? It's just just happening over the weekend. It's just starting oh, Monday. Goodness. Monday, I think, actually. Yeah. 
Well, thank you for telling me for six weeks. Yes. Yes. So, yes. So. I think I'll just shut up for six weeks then. Well, you know, it's <laughs> like um, uh, there's that going on. And then there is um, Mars and Uranus are doing a bit of a dance right now. So there's the potential for explosions, emotional explosions oh dear. Uh, in the world. Yes. Well, so, you know, keep your, yeah. keep your thoughts about you. Keep your, keep your light beaming brightly, my dear friend. You've got plenty to share. And you. um, you're welcome. Uh, and do you want to say anything here about your great painting and your art and how people Oh, I have a painting you? planned. I've bought a canvas and I've bought some beautiful gold paint. Great. So um, great. I think because I'm on this beautiful uh, water source, right. I'm going to be painting something to do with the Vesica Pisces, which is the sacred symbol on the, on the lid of the holy well. Uh, it's two interlocking circles and it is sure. a representation. That's right. And the circle, the point where the circles meet, this um, shape in the center yeah. is, uh, is a very sacred shape when it comes to creation. It's actually um, one of the first sacred geometry lessons that you're supposed to learn right. when you learn about sacred geometry. So right. I'm going to be focusing on this and doing something for that. Um, that's going to be my next piece. It's not going to be very big because I don't have much space to work in, but it's going to be a good start to get me going again. Sure, sure. Um, painting is a lot more important for me than making a website right now, but I'm trying to run both projects at the same time. <laughs> well, you're doing great, and I'm sure there's many uh, talented people uh, in Glastonbury that want to uh, uh, be a part of your uh, talent and your vision and your creativity. Be, oh, thank you. You're welcome. We'd be happy to... Uh, you know, uh, make a website in exchange for one of your I'm healing, or oh, yes, I can do healing or do the painting. Or, right, right. Um, All that. Do a decoration in the house. I'm slowly networking and finding my way around. And in fact, there's a networking session on Wednesday I've been invited to. So I might go to that so that I can rub shoulders with other people Good. and meet Good. people on the circuit. Great. But it's good to meet people that are working from home doing um healing work over the internet and finding this is um using this tool is really just it's getting to grips with the technology isn't it and sure just mastering it not letting it master you sure absolutely absolutely yeah. um great stuff great stuff we're in the, we're in the mayan weekend right now so 11 is the start of the mayan weekend 11 12 and 13 are the kind of relaxation days of the wave spell okay and 13 just to remind you is the day of celebration so on monday we've got a day of celebration so everything that you do should be and it's going to be very abundant um a celebration of life and a celebration of success and you'll find ways to express that good go. <laughs> i'm yeah. ready for that believe me November was like a, a long, slow crawl through the darkness, you know? Oh. Honestly, yeah, no, it was quite humbling, November, you know? It was like, nope, start again. Nope, try something else. Nope, do, start over. Nope, back to the drawing board, you know? So, well, I didn't uh, know what November was going to bring for me, but I ended up moving house, which is an amazing thing. It, it is, and you've taken to it like a duck to water, as we say here in Ireland, yeah? <laughs> well, thank Absolutely. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. And it's wonderful to see your, your happiness and your joy and all your uh, excitement for, for the future. Thanks. Yeah, more artwork to come. Good. Great. Took great. some beautiful photos today of the tour. I'm just so pleased with them. Um, it's very inspiring. And I find just drinking the water makes me feel creative. It's, it's incredible. Right. Right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Is there anything coming up there in terms of, well, of course, we have the solstice. And that's a huge event in uh, Stonehenge. I was yes, I was talking to my friend today, and he right. says that actually, the twenty third and the twenty fourth are the days of celebration. Okay. That the twenty fourth is the pagan festival of the return of the light. All right. Um, and and that's uh, that's the day of giving gifts traditionally in the pagan tradition. Okay. And um, the twenty fifth is is something contrived. He says that's made up for whatever purpose. I have no idea why, but I mean, well, there's lots of propaganda that flies around. It's it has to do with the, um, you know, who's talked about this? Greg Braden and others. Drunvalo, uh, you know, that I think Sirius dips below the horizon uh, on the on the twenty third and twenty fourth, and the, and it it comes above the horizon again on the twenty fifth. 
Ah. Yeah, so the, it's, it is the return of the sun, as you said. It's the return of the light. Um, okay. You know, it's the death and the rebirth, basically. Yeah. Yeah, in those, in those three very powerful magical days. So that's like the new year in the traditional calendar, because now we've got the 365-day calendar, which is just for taxable goods, um, but it's been applied to humans, and humans now live their lives by it. Right, which is um, why... And the word... Go on. The, the word egre, egregore, which is where we get Gregorian from, right. means, um, means a single mind. So uh, the Gregorian calendar was given to make everybody have one single mind at that sure. time. Sure. Instead of these traditional pockets of culture, which have had time as their own invention, um, based on natural cycles, and the, right. uh, now we all live by the Gregorian calendar. Well, based on the moon rather than the sun. Yeah, based on all the astral bodies, okay. celestial bodies. Yes, but isn't it isn't it principally the thirteen month lunar cycle? Um, um, that's one calendar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't we won't leave the rest of the heavens out, but um, yeah, that's my my thin understanding of uh, you know uh, because because obviously the solar is masculine, the lunar is feminine. Yeah. Okay, and and like you're saying there, singular mind, single minded, uh, you know, uh, mind control, you know, is not a, a far, far stretch from that. Whereas, yeah. you know, the, uh, the feminine, the intuitive, the spiritual, the unconscious, uh, the emotional, all of that is, you know, this is, this is that time. I've been hearing from uh, my astrology friends, uh, Steve Judd and Kai Pacha and Carl Boudreau, the, the, the chaps that I listen to at the moment, um, you know, that the, the 2018, Amy, is going to be all about the divine feminine. And, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, and and really the next three years, um, this is what I'm going to talk about tonight during my uh, spirit talk here. Uh, that the next three years from uh, of 2018, 19, and 20 uh, are are um, really the capstone on the pyramid. They're really we're really um, what can I say? We've got the 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 summit uh, at in sight. Uh, for the next three years, the light workers of the planet, of all of us who have been going through such intense experiences of purification and healing and um, integration and all these kinds of things, you know, uh, this year has been a one, which has been about the self and healing, healing the, the, the misalignments in our understanding of our, our divine self. And then next year is the two or the 11 that turns into a two and that's a master number, and it's it's about bringing the energy of mastery back onto the planet. Oh my goodness, I so feel it. And and Steve Nobel, who I saw a couple of yeah. weeks ago, yeah, uh, he's seeing that lots of people have noticed that there's a second awakening happening. Oh yeah, that 2017 is bringing this, and 2018 is bringing in this real, real need for people to stay awake. And that those people who've had their awakening and found themselves kind of like in a daze, wandering around, bumping into things since, because we've had so much to deal with and the masses have now kind of stirred in their sleep and are being poked around by all this truth that's come to the surface. Um, that 2017 and 18 is like, we, we, we have to, this is our second chance to really, really stay awake and, um, keep the consciousness flowing and and it's like a it's like a second go i really feel it i mean we've had two with the harmonic convergence and then the harmonic concordance right and um and now the 2018 this coming up period up to 2020 is really meaning that we've got so much that we can be doing yeah yeah absolutely absolutely well honey thank you thank you as always a pleasure yeah I think your 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 energy might be dipping a little bit. You know, maybe it's it's time for a bit of rest. Maybe it is later than I thought. I've been out for dinner tonight as well. I've had quite a long day. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. You richly richly deserved. But um, yeah, that feels that feels very complete for for me with you here for the moment. Um, and so people can find you on your Facebook page, Amy Ekmal. Yeah. 
And is there anywhere else you want to send anyone to work with you in the Mayan calendar, your painting or anything? Ekmao at me.com. Okay. Um, my Facebook page is the main page at the moment. I've, I've also got an art page on Amy Ekmao art page. Um, if Great. you, and I'm getting websites and things together as we speak. Yes. Yes. And you'll have cards and posters and tablecloths before we know what's happening. <laughs> tablecloths, really? Do people use tablecloths these days? <laughs> I, I would if it, if it had your great paintings on it. I, oh, thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. Sure. Sure. Brilliant. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go. Thank you very much. Love you. Well done. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lee. All right, sweetheart. I love you too. All right. Talk to you soon. Peace. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Thanks, darling.